So another question to answer is, why is quality of mind and its before psychology approach so relevant for us now? Franz, what, what would you say in answer to that question? Yeah, what I experienced, the polarities we have in our society, we need to be quickly judgmental about everything. We need to have an opinion, we need to judge, and that comes from the self. We value that in our society and we overlook essentially who we are, who we truly are, and that we're not separate. But by this polarity, this idea of needing to have an opinion, we're not using that our real powers, our true being. And so it's so relevant to go before psychology and fall out of this narrative about the self and truly seeing the, the oneness of all our true being and, and the wisdom which is available to us. Well, there's a couple of aspects to this. One is, it seems to be that in society and culture at the moment, we're becoming addicted to thinking, being a self, to thingifying everything, to to really trying to find a way in the world to prove and judge and strive to be a better thing that we are. And that's giving us lots of attention in the wrong direction. It brings attention into our psychology, into our thinking, forgetting what we truly are. And a lot of today's solutions to that in how we try to feel better uh, in what we do or in even in how we look at mental health is actually innocently pointing in the wrong way and it's missing out the simplicity of seeing what's available when we get out of our thinking and we realize that we're not this separate self that needs to strive and make themselves good in the world.